Yo, 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 guys, it's free. Um, Aries are up here. Damn, I know we messed that up. It's Aries are up here. Um, I said that because I'm in a new team now called Team Aries. Um, basically, today I'm going to be teaching you if you're starting out on editing. I'm not a very professional editor myself, but um, here's just some of the basic edits I know that will help you create your first montage. So, first off, you need to get your clip and record it or get someone to record it for you or just get it off the internet but you do have to give credit to the person that you got it off you can go to like free clips on youtube just type in free clips and then there should be a channel that give you all these free montages that you need to edit and then you can upload them but you have to give credit obviously right so first of all you want to chop off like all the stuff that you really don't need so you don't need up to here like this is the end you don't need that then you need to press s on the moment where you start pulling in for the shot you need to go a few you need to get this as accurate as possible so you need to get this here so just before the scope comes into your eyes then what you need to do is press on the end of the first clip press control down and then speed oh jesus christ don't want to do that and then you want to speed this clip up like you got to shorten it make sure that squiggly line's under there otherwise it's not going to work so now at the minute, if I click on properties, see what we sample, uh, that's all sorted. If I click, this is how it should look. So it, it just quickly speeds up to the part. And then what you want to do with the actual clip is press control on the edge. Stretch it out, make sure it's like slow motion. So we're making it slow motion. So it gives a good effect to like be sped up and then slow down. Oh, you need to make it a lot slower than that to be fair. You need it to be maybe let's try here. Right, let's see what happens if I stretch it a bit more. Right, there's that, that's perfect. Now we need to get as close and as accurate as possible to the moment where you can see through the scope and see the enemy. That's if I have a black scope. Right, here's where I hit him. So what I'm gonna do, go back a few more frames. I'm gonna go there, and then the edge of the end of where the bullet actually hits in, which is here. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work on this part right here. So what you're gonna need to do is click on video effects, and then I'm just gonna look at my. Ba these are just basic effects that you can get. You can download, download more, sorry, but these are just the, these are the good ones that I like to use. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna first click on Safiri Eyes, Safiri Eyes, whatever you want to call that. That actually is, I don't know what that word is. Um, you want to bring it down to around 500. Or, yeah, there we go. That's as close as I'm getting to 500. Um, so this is what it should look like. Let's get it here. Okay, that is going past very quickly. That is quite scary. Right, there we go. Now we want to see what it all looks like together. Right, so there you go. See, it gives it like a giant little, giant little, no, just a, like a, a quite small but very effective bump in the middle of it. Next, I'm going to go to color curves. You want to just click on default. You can click on warm. Uh, there's, there's loads of different variations there, as you can see. I just click on default because we don't need any specific colors being added in, like filters. We just need a light. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this one and drag it to the top right. And then with this, I'm just going to drag it in a tiny bit, like maybe that. Right. Now, I need to find if I can find it. If I can't, it doesn't really make a difference. Here it is, light rays. This is a very good thing to add into your into your montage. Um, you're gonna need this on a lot of clips. This will this will make a great difference to your clip. I like to put sensitivity all the way up. Strength. You know, don't you don't want to make a mess of that. Keep it at about 550. Blend. You want to keep that down because that's the whole reason you've got it. X radius, radius Y, feather. You know, feather you can do what, what you want with that really but I like to just keep it like that and then you can pick where your light comes from so I'm just going to leave it in the middle and then this should be what it all looks like put together hopefully this has gone right 
there you go. Um, you can work on that, you can sync it with music, it's not the best clip, but, I mean, you know, you, you, you can you can mess around with it, basically, what happens afterwards, like, you, you can have your own little mess about it, you can see what you want to do. I don't get it perfect there, on the shot, but that is very close. Like, if, let's just watch it again. See, if you had loads of them, like, in a feed, it'd just look amazing, like, all the, like, explosions and stuff like just what i'm saying here like the, the big explosion like boom there that's what i mean so this has been your boy aries erupt i'll see you in another video uh i am using pandy cam so if that pops up at the top i do apologize um i just wanted to show you guys who do editing just a quick little tutorial so i'll see you in another video this has been freak erupt and see you